Hey guys, it's Janine and welcome back to my channel and this is the second video that I'm uploading this week which is not really normal for me but I owed you guys a video last Saturday so I uploaded a travel life hacks video just like two days ago so you should check that out, it'll be linked down below and today I'm going to be doing a video where I test out a curling iron. Apparently this is the exact curling iron that all the Victoria's Secret models use, hence why I'm kind of dressed like this. I wanted to chime in with the Victoria's Secret model vibe. And I got this at a Victoria's Secret party. They gave this to me. I wanted to see if this thing was legit or not. Apparently the barrel like rotates on you, something cool like that. Haven't even tried it out, haven't even opened it, so you guys are going to be getting my raw first impressions on this product. Let me know if you guys enjoy this video and what other products you want me to test out on camera. Let's just get right into it. Okay, so starting off, I want to open up this box. Okay, so when you open it up, this is what it looks like. Comes with instructions manual. The actual curling iron, which is actually really big. Oh, okay. And then the cord, obviously. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. I'm like kind of nervous. I don't know how the heck you use this thing. So this is what the body looks like. It has a thing right here, which I'm assuming switches the direction. Oh no, that's the pace, fast, slow. Power button, temperature, and then right here. Right here is where you do the direction and a button that says home, which I'm assuming just returns it to its original spot. So let's try this out. It's currently heating up right now. I put it on like a tray on my bed so it doesn't burn my bed, obviously. Instruction manual says, step one, open clamp and secure near ends of hair. Step two, hold arrow button to start rotation. Release button to stop rotation. Hold for two to three seconds, open clamp, remove curl. Press home button to reset clamp. Repeat for beautiful beach waves. Okay, seems simple enough. Seems like this is something I could Hopefully do, I don't know. All right, I'm gonna section my hair off. All right, just bringing you guys in a little bit closer here. Okay, so there's three ways you can apparently hold it. You can hold barrel vertical for beach waves, hold barrel diagonal for defined curls, and hold barrel horizontal for vintage waves. That's what this says right here. <laughs> I'm gonna try the beach wave look, so I'm gonna hold it vertical. <laughs> Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh my gosh. So I think you start your hair at the bottom. Oh my gosh. Ooh! One, two, three. Okay. 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 Not too bad. I love how easy that was, but at the same time. The clamp makes a really, really bad crimp at the bottom. Like if you guys can see right there, it's like crimping. I don't like that ish. All right, next hair. All right, next piece. This could very well be my next favorite machine. And release. All right, all right. I'm just gonna try and repeat this process now. This is so easy and so much like less work than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, if you push the home button, like if you push it to the side like this, and then you push home, it makes it go right back to home. I'm always looking for a way to get like natural looking beach waves, so if this can do it, I'm going to be in love. Okay, that's like really pretty. Now I'm gonna try this side. For the right side of my head, I'm pushing the left button so it curls my hair outwards. Okay, that's what it looks like. It's, it's really pretty. I like that. See, okay, that one was like really, really loose, like barely made a full curl. So like, I'm gonna redo that. I guess if you take too big of hair, it doesn't really do the job or I have to hold it longer. That's better, but it's still, a, it's a little weird to be honest. I wonder why they use this thing. It's so cute. If you don't want your curls being like too tight, then obviously like you have to go like this with the clamp and like loosen the hair a little bit because otherwise they'll be like too tight and it looks a little weird. If you put it close to your ear, you can hear like the weird electronic noises in it, if that makes sense. Like it just sounds funky when it gets close to your ear. This clamp is so small. So these waves are definitely really, really loose. They aren't kidding when they say beach waves. So I'm gonna hairspray them really quickly so they don't like completely fall out. 
All right, I have the back of my head. I have all this hair back here that I need to do, so I'm gonna see how easy it is to do the back of your head with this curling iron. This honestly also um, helps your arms from being super tired because you know when like you're curling it and you hold it upside down or whatever like that, your arms get really, really tired. Like my arms are not tired and I did a really, really intense arm workout today. So my arms feel like jello. So like I was kind of nervous that my arms were gonna be exhausted after this. They're not bad. Okay, also you can do fast or slow. I'm gonna try slow and see what happens. This, this seems loose. I don't like that. I'm afraid it's gonna like fall off. It makes kind of weird curls like I don't really like the way that curl looked yeah because the clamp is super small you really can't get that much hair so just FYI I'm gonna try and hold the curling iron diagonal now and see what happens I don't feel like that's gonna make much of a difference all right, that's what resulted out of that. I mean, I guess I can see, but not really. Okay, I'm gonna hairspray all of this. I do like the size of this barrel. I think it's really good for my length of hair. And the highest um, temperature that this goes is 350 degrees, which is what I have it on right now. Ooh, I really, really creased the bottom of my hair on that one. <laughs> Cause I accidentally did it the wrong way, but just even with the clamp, it just kind of tends to crease it. Oh my gosh, I keep doing it the wrong way. After this tutorial, I better freaking look like a stunning, sexy Victoria's Secret model. If I don't, I want my money back. I'm just kidding, I didn't even pay for this. I'm so joking. No one get mad at me. Speaking of money, I don't know how much this retails for. I'm gonna list it on the screen how much it retails for. So you guys can check it out. And I'll try and link it down below too, because obviously you guys wanna be able to check this out. Ah! That, oh crap. Ah! Oh my gosh. I so creased the bottom of my hair on that one. That was not good. Something funky is going on down there. Like, do you see that? All right, so thoughts so far. I, I do like them. They're nice and loose. They're not too big. They're not too, like, they're not like ringlet curls, which I don't like. My main concern is how it looks on this side. That's where I have the most hair, where my part is where my bangs are, so I'm interested to see how it looks on that side. But so far on this side, I'm pretty pleased. They look really, really good. <laughs> that looks so funny. That was kind of a tighter curl, which I don't really like. I don't really like the curls like that. This home button's actually really helpful, but also I accidentally hit it quite often. Ooh, that was a pretty curl. Last section is the top section. Ooh, that was a tight curl. That was tight. Uh, by the way, for hairspray, I'm using the Suave Smooth 72 hour frizz resistant hairspray. It definitely got the job done. It said beach waves and that is what I got, so it definitely lived up to that. This curling iron is $120 and I personally don't think it's worth $120. Would I reuse it again? Yes. Do I think it's a good product? Yes. But I feel like for the price of that, you could get three of these curling irons. This is a Revlon curling iron. I believe I paid like $30, $40 for this. I can't honestly remember. But this does pretty much the exact same thing and almost like even better. So I don't know. If you want to pay for the convenience-ness and the easiness of the curling iron because it just does the work for you, I definitely think I would use it again. But I feel like I can kind of get the exact same result with an iron just like this with a clamp. And I can even remove this clamp if I want to. Great curling iron. I think it definitely works. It lives up to what it says it's going to do. But I do feel like a lot of the pieces are kind of inconsistent. They're, there's some with like kind of crispy bottoms. You're not, you're not really getting the same type of curl around your whole head. A lot of them are different sizes. Some of them are really curly, some of them are not. That's kind of my main complaint is like, 
they're not all the same and maybe you like that maybe you want that but personally I'm just kind of like it looks a little crazy kind of all over my head if you add some volume though like va va voom hello Victoria's Secret I think it looks really good if you just kind of push up your hair a little bit personally I think my hair looks really really good right now I, I definitely like the way it looks but again it does look a little crazy so let me know in the comments down below what are your thoughts on this curling iron do you think you're gonna check it out or are you just gonna stick to a curling iron like this and let me know in the comments down below what product do you want me to test out next so that kind of wraps up this video let me know your thoughts down below I'm interested to see what you guys have to say and don't forget to check out all my social media and my vlog channel my social media is Janine Amapola and my vlog channel is Janine TV and I vlog quite often so check those out down below and I will see you guys next Saturday peace out Girl Scout bye guys